some surly guests outside. Eivor! We were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. Be cautious with that. Anyone could have walked in. They might have. And I'll serve penance before God, but I will not feel shame. Not ever. Times being what they are, Elska. I'd rather not join Trikr among the Atlas. You make a well-timed point. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Avgos and Frieswith have angered many. Let us hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? It is time we focused on the compass. Gather all we know, and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart. Cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river rip to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well. This one's got the gift of all in's meat. What is on your mind, though? We know the compass is a sailor. A captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back. We can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up! You find a way out! <coughs> Evil! Make for the steeple! <sighs> Shit! The yard's still spawned for us, my son! Inferno!
had a view of the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass. Bastard. If we commandeered the Springles and Avgos built, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. I want those Springles on our side. I will follow you still. Up on the ramparts. We'll redirect their fire. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our swords and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. We'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Follow me to the ramparts, Eivor! They'll have no chance! See you, old friend.
Jiggle's back on the compass. your master! This is the compass, large enough to hold an ocean.
Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Udika was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shithouse. So bright and beautiful set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that tide. The drinker we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burnt? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill time, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting. I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. I, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trigger's before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the right to wear it now. I'm touched, Erke. I will carry it with pride. Seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news.